Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do so down below. Uh, today I am re-recording a video uh, that I have I had previously recorded and posted about my coach uh, 1941 75th anniversary handbag. Um, the reason I'm re-recording this video is because I didn't realize how poor the quality was the first time that I recorded it and my camera was really shaky so I was viewing it and I thought oh my gosh I have to film it again um, so that you guys get a better a better uh, you know view of the bag because the first recording was not very good but um, like I said if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so um, I'm going to be posting a bunch of other uh, handbag and jewelry videos and I've already recorded um, I've recorded some videos of my Anushka handbag collection and I've done videos of the bags individually and then I'll do one of my entire Anushka collection so I'll be posting those soon but I'm here today to show you guys like I said this is the 1941 coach 75th anniversary handbag and it is a beauty. I actually stumbled upon this bag um, at the Tyson's Corner Galleria in Virginia. I was there. Uh, for those of you who haven't checked out my other video about my lavender mulberry Roxanne, check that out. Um, I was at the Tyson's Galleria to pick up, um, to get my bag authenticated by the Mulberry uh, Associates at their hand store and I also purchased some leather um, conditioning cream from there and I passed my fiance and I we walked past the coach store and um, I've always loved coach been a, a, a big fan fabulous quality and this was the featured handbag and this is for their 75th birthday um, and they have a whole collection a whole celebratory collection but this is their biggest and their most beautiful handbag and I came to find out that only a hundred of these have been made um, and they were only put into the the biggest selling stores across the country uh, possibly across the world I know for sure only a hundred were made and you know the stores that were the biggest money makers were allowed to sell them so you know so that might have included coach international coach stores but definitely nationally and the coach store um, when I went to the store there were only 14 available um, two of the 14 that were still available uh, period were at this particular coach store because um, it was a, a big beautiful store in a very wealthy part of Virginia um, and so I purchased one of these handbags um, it was a big decision for me because this is by far the biggest most beautiful most expensive handbag I won't say how much it cost because I just uh, I prefer that privacy but um, this was like a leap of faith for me you could say but you know um, my fiance knows that I love handbags. They're one of those things that I really, I take excellent care of my bags. And um, so he knew that I would really take care of this one and really value it and cherish it. Um, and it's extremely one of a kind, only, you know, it's one of a hundred in the world. So I'm glad I uh, got this while there were still only 14 left. But, um, so let me get into the review of this beauty. As you can see, it comes with, um, I'll try to get as close as possible without um, having focus issues with my camera. So, because that was an issue in the previous video. But, this handbag, okay, so let me actually, let me just um, start with, uh, this bag is genuine leather. Uh, the outside, it's a, it's very square shaped, and although it looks thin, it's actually a very big bag. It has a lot of room. 
It has three compartments. And as you can see, so the outer uh, the outer sides are a black, very supple, very soft, gorgeous leather. And if I can come in close without going out of focus, um, there are brass um, um, studs, thank you, brass studs of different shapes, as you can see, a uh, circle, rectangular, square, and they're also in different colors. The square studs are in gold, and the rectangular and circular studs are in a silver, um, and then the smallest, smallest studs are in gold, but then, you know, the smallest, roundest, and then the bigger, rounder studs are in the silver, so, um, Oh, there you go. It looks better when I put my hand up there. I don't know why. But so you can see the entire outside, the face of the bag is studded, as is the black, as is the back, excuse me. Um, you do have two um, rivets, brass rivets. Um, they're in a brushed gold color, and they do have coach stamped on the top and bottom. Um as does it right here and it came with these two beautiful uh, keychains this one you can see is the coach uh, horse and carriage and this keychain is leather this is leather on both sides see this is the same black leather as the front and back of the bag and this is a plum leather gorgeous gorgeous and um, gold brass hardware. It does say Coach, Coach 1941. You can't see it, but here, right around the circle where it connects, to where the keychain, um, where the charm connects to the chain, it says Coach 1941 because this is their uh, bag celebrating their establishment in 1941 and, and their 75th birthday. This is Coach 1941 back here, so it's the entire purse is stamped all over with Coach 1941 because this is a, a big deal. Uh, this is like this is a little keychain. It's just a leather pouch. It you know it, it reminds me of um, on some of the other designer handbags. You know this would have a key in it. This doesn't have anything in it. It's not supposed to have anything in it. But to kind of keep the shape, I stuffed some uh, just some paper in there. But it has the uh, postman lock so you know it's just a cute little charm or keychain that hangs from the bag it's on a leather strap and um very beautiful the leather is uh, a plum colored and the stitching is a deep gold i want it to focus but um the plum leather that is that makes up this keychain um, as does it, this keychain also makes up the handles. The handles are stiff. I'm not sure what's in them, but they're firm handles, so they maintain their shape. They have black whip stitching. As you can see here, black whip stitching and the uh, soft plum leather handles. Uh, brass D-rings. And this purse has gorgeous... Oh, my dog's on my bed. I don't know if you guys can see him. Oh, he's laying down. But this purse has gorgeous tassels. It has eight tassels on each side. You can see how long and beautiful these tassels are. The tassels are made out of the same black leather as the front. And, if you can tell, the side of the bag here. Same black leather. And at the end of the tassels are silver studs. So it continues with the... Uh, stud and leather. Um, instead of piping, as uh, many other designer handbags have, this has black whip stitching along the edges of the bag. So down this side, here, black whip stitching, and as does it over here. Let me get in close so you can see it. You see the black whip stitching here. So Yep, here are the sides. The bottom has four brass feet, and you can see 
It has that beautiful deep gold stitching. And stamped in gold letters on the bottom. Ooh, let's see if we can get it to focus. Nope. All right, well, I'll tell you guys what it says. It says genuine glove tanned pebble leather. It says that right here along the bottom. And um, so now on the inside of the bag, this bag has three large compartments. Very spacious, very roomy. And like I said, this bag is very deceiving because it looks very skinny, you know, almost like a sandwich or toast or something, but it is meant to contain whatever you want. Laptops, tablets, purse, books, what have you. It expands greatly. So, like I said, three compartments. Um, the inner lining is a plum, same plum color as the handles and as the keychain like I showed you. Um, it is a plum suede. Gorgeous, soft, and um, it is the same plum leather here that makes up the zipper. Let me zip it up real quick. I don't know if you can see my dog. You can say hi to him. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is with the central compartment. This is First compartment, central compartment, third compartment. Um, this is what it looks like zipped up. So you can see, beautiful plum leather, you know, deep gold stitching, um, golden brass zipper, gorgeous. And I, as you can see, I have shoulder straps. So these handles are secure. They cannot be detached from the purse. These handles right here. These shoulder straps, they do have a lobster clasp if, if you want to uh, take them off. You can do that if you want to have strictly the handles. So you can do that. But these handles are intended to, although they are intended to be, to be disconnected when you want them to, they are also intended to fold beautifully and perfectly into the purse like this so that you don't have to disconnect them and store them or possibly lose them. You just fold them straight into the purse like that. I have a Costco receipt in there, but you see? Just lay like that. So whenever you don't want to use them, you just stick them in there. They're out of the way and you don't even really notice them. Because you see the um, the D rings are meant to just fold down into the purse without sticking out, without any difficulty. And then when you want to throw it on your shoulder, uh, you grab the straps out and you can fold the handles into the purse. Okay, so let me show you better. See, the handles just like the D, these are the D rings of the handles. These are the D-rings of the shoulder straps, meant to fold perfectly flat into the purse, flush with the inside, just like that. Both sides, see? Here are the keychains too. You can always stick those out. Keychains sticking out. Here are the keychains. Bam. There you go. And you don't even notice the handles. Those substantial, gorgeous substantial handles, don't even notice them. You don't feel them. It's like they disappeared, but they haven't gone anywhere. They are smooth in that purse. I love it. And you can tell that so much thought was put into this purse. Into, excuse me, into this purse. Um, the shoulder straps, the same soft plum colored leather as you can find all over the bag gold brass hardware um as on all the hardware it you know it's it says coach coach 1941 coach 1941 all over um so yes and these compartments are deep they are wide like i said you can fit your tablet your your tablet, your laptop, another tablet, your college books. 
mathematics, chemistry, whatever you want. And of course your normal purse, you know, like wallet and cell phone. See, it just opens up like a mouth. So let's get into the central zipper compartment. So this is the zipper. As you can tell, it beautifully flares um, down the side of the purse. And then it kind of, yeah, it flares out at the bottom, but it kind of just streams out like a waterfall. I love it. So much character, an extremely unique design. Um, see, brass, gold brass hardware, gold brass zipper, the same gold stitching, gorgeous stitching. And as all over the purse, it says 1941. Because this purse is all about celebrating their establishment in 1941. The zipper says Coach 1941 here. Um, and oh my gosh, guys, my camera is telling me it might die. So if it does, I'm very sorry. But I will definitely continue this video if I don't get through everything. Um, so, <laughs> before this camera dies, let me get into the central zipper compartment. Okay? So... I'm sorry, I have a couple pocarillas in here, but that's the central zipper compartment. I don't know if you can tell, but it's gorgeous. So this fabric, it reminds me of like a, I don't know, just a natural, maybe a natural British fabric, honestly. For some reason it reminds me of something British. But it's very natural. It has, a, it's like a, a grayish color, but it has a, spots of you know brown and black and gray and it's just gorgeous you have a zippered pocket here with the leather tag that says coach and it gives a brief history of their establishment in 1941 and it has the uh serial number here so you have and this zippered compartment is large you can see it extends the entire oh let me trying to show you. It extends the entire width of the purse. So normally a zipper compartment will be maybe that wide. This zipper compartment is the entire width of the inside of the purse. And it is as deep as it is wide. It is the largest zippered pocket that I've seen in any purse. So it's very spacious, very nice. You have, um, of course you have brass, Ooh. brass zipper tab and a brass zipper outlined in leather and on the other side of the central compartment you have a a pocket that could be either a jewelry pocket for those females who are familiar with jewelry pockets um, or a coin purse and at first I thought it was a jewelry pocket or some kind of you know uh, nice private pocket but then I thought it's a coin purse because it has you know the kiss lock you know and it resembles an old-fashioned snap coin purse but honestly um, this inner fabric is so beautiful that I will probably not be putting hi Kua this is my Belgian Malamon Makua say hi Kua but I probably won't be putting coins in here because coins are disgusting and dirty and sticky and gross and they've touch who knows what so I probably put, won't put coins in there I will probably oh cool He's, are you photobombing I'll probably put um jewelry you know when I take my rings off to do to exercise or do yoga what have you or just put whatever um uh this compartment unlike the zippered pocket although this is a very nice size compared to other handbags it isn't as big so you can tell that it isn't as wide as the entire um width of the purse and it is not as deep as the entire width of the purse i don't know if you can tell but if you can see my finger down there but it's still a very nice size and it's gorgeous it is a a tan colored leather here um brushed gold brass kiss lock and yeah, and I do have some things in here, but I just want to get final look. My camera, whoop, my camera's going to die, so I think I'm going to call it a video. And I'm hoping, for those of you who saw my other, my previous video about this purse, I'm hoping that this was better. I think the quality um, 
was better and I think my camera was not going crazy but this is a, see and it's a nice drop down length it's not like stuck up in the armpit it's really really nice I love it it is gorgeous these are handles. The handles are very oh, so slender and so sleek Just a reminder, my camera's dying, so if the video suddenly cuts off, you know why. But, um, so you can see. Gorgeous. I love it. So, I doubt, I'm, I, I can guarantee that none are available. Um, because when I purchased this, this person only been on the market for two weeks, and already out of 100, there were only 14 left. And then I bought one of the 14. So after I purchased this one, there were only 13 left. So I, you know, I can guarantee there aren't any more in coach stores. It's possible that someone bought this. It's possible but highly unlikely that someone has bought this and has already sold it. Um, unless they're really trying to flip it for some serious money. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share... Because I think it's a gorgeous bag. But in the future, you know, one of these purses will become available. Um, most likely used or, or second hand, however you want to say it. But if you are able to snag one in the future, it is a conversation piece. It is a showstopper. And you will get questions. See, right now I have the handles just hanging out on the outside. Because you can have these handles doing whatever, whatever, wherever, whatever, and it's gorgeous, and this is what it looks like. I like to carry it in the crook of my arm, I don't know if you can see, like this. Alright, so I hope you guys liked this video, um, I hope you liked checking out and reviewing this purse with me, I have been carrying it as much as possible, I've been switching in and out between this coach, um, and my lavender mulberry Roxanne. If you haven't seen that video about my mulberry Roxanne, please check it out. Um, it'll be posted right alongside this one. But uh, you can see what I have been carrying all summer. So if you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Please subscribe to my channel so you can get uh, notices of the new of the videos that I'll be posting. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, any comments, if you have any more questions about the bag, maybe something that you would like me to clarify or expound on, or maybe something that I didn't touch upon, feel free to ask. Uh, I'm always willing to, uh, to answer questions and chit-chat. And that's it. I look forward to posting more videos for you guys. Like I said, my Anushka handbag collection will be coming up and that is a very unique collection um, because Anushka handbags are, each bag is unique because every single handbag is hand painted from India. So uh, please tune in for that. That is the next thing that I'll be working on and posting. But like I said, questions, comments, Feel free to leave them down below. If you liked this video, please like it. If you want to share it, please do so. Um, and yeah, please don't forget to subscribe. Alright, thanks guys.